Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the number one skill that all skiers need. The number one skill that all skiers should learn and should work on to improve as a rider. So if you're a skier, you probably realize that there is uh, quite a few skills that you can develop to become a very proficient skier. I mean, there's a ton of stuff out there that you can work on. You can work on your downhill skiing skill, your balance, your strength in the gym, your, you know, rail skill, your jump skill, whatever the case may be. There's, there's like millions of things that you can improve on. But in my opinion, the most important skill to improve is your mental strength. Now, later on in this video, I'm going to give you kind of the four major things that you should work on, like the four major categories of mental strength that you should be aware of as you ski. But before I get into that, I want to pretty much give my reasoning to why I think this is so important. No matter how skilled you are physically, no matter how good your balance is, no matter how many times you've hit a jump, hit a rail, this, that, whatever, no matter how good your actual physical capabilities are, if you make one bad decision, you're gonna get very, very injured, or you could get very, very injured. All it takes is one bad decision for everything to go wrong. Now, obviously, if you're making good decisions all the time, there's still that chance that you can just have a flute crash or just something goes wrong anyways. But at the end of the day, making sure that you're not putting yourself in danger, putting yourself in risk, just because you make a stupid decision is very important. You want to avoid that at all costs, mental strength, and having good awareness, being able to think rationally, logically, is going to prevent a lot of injuries. Not only that though, but it's going to allow you to progress in a, in a sustainable way. And if you keep following the same mental strategies, you're going to be able to do more and more tricks and gain more and more skill on your skis. So now that you know why I think you know, mental preparation and mental strategies when skiing are so important, let's talk about what you should actually be trying to improve mentally. Number one, and we have four of these, we're gonna start with number one, knowing your limits. So as you ski, as you get better, Keeping track of your progression is very important. If you're just hitting green circles and it's kind of sketchy, keep track of that. Keep that in the back of your head. If you finish the day and you made it down a green circle just fine, but you're, you know, still not too confident to go down the blue square, keep track of that. And for next time, remember where your progression left off. Another good example is doing tricks if you have front side and back side 270s down but you know they're a little bit iffy keep track of that remember that know that going to the 450 might be a little bit out of your limits right you need to know if a new trick or a new trail or a new cliff or whatever you're trying to progress on is within the natural curve of your progression and that's just thinking logically there's no like mathematical formula to determine this it's just common sense if your 270s are sketchy you probably shouldn't throw the 450. if you haven't landed a 360 yet you probably shouldn't try to huck a 540 or something like that um if you've never backflipped on a trampoline you probably shouldn't try it on skis thinking logically and making sure those tricks fall within the curve of your natural progression is very very important and that's step number one know your limits so the next thing that you should be working on is your confidence and this coincides with knowing your limits if you're very aware and conscious of your limits then you should be very very confident you know if a new trick is just the next step up so let's say you have 270s backside 270s on lock right you get them every single time you can do them without thinking then a backside 450 is within grasp and it's realistic and it's not too crazy of a jump so you should be very confident that you can do that trick confidence is key when skiing it helps you develop style it helps you tackle new things you know it's a very very beneficial mental strength to have just being a confident rider be a smart rider but be confident about what you're doing you know if you're going for a trick and you know you can do it you know you can do it that's a much better feeling than going into a trick thinking uh maybe i can do it i'm not too sure so confidence is extremely important and that's number two numero three i don't really remember spanish class too much so sorry about that that was terrible but this kind of 
bounces off confidence. So all so far, these have all worked off of each other. Number three is commitment. And this one, you kind of got to do it a trial by fire, honestly. Every time you do a new trick, if it's like a new barrier trick, and what I mean by that is let's say you're, you know, you got 360s, 540s down, but you've never inverted. That's a barrier trick. That's a gateway trick to a whole nother level of skiing, right? So maybe going for that first back flip. Every time you reach a point like that, there is going to be a large amount of mental commitment and physical commitment, but mental, it's all mental. Let's be honest. If you're going for your first back flip and you bail halfway through, that's mental, man. That's mental, especially if you know how to do it on a trampoline or something like that, you, you have it on lock and you know, you know what the motion is and you bail out that's mental so as you progress as a skier you really 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 have to start focusing on fully committing full commitment this isn't easy to do it's not um, it takes a lot of pushing fear to the side it takes a lot of confidence it takes a lot of confidence it's so important to fully commit not half-ass it if you're going for that 450 on fully commit man because at the end of the day if you fully commit and you know that it's within your limits you're confident you know you can do it if you fully commit you're gonna be way better off than if you half commit even if you go into the trick and you're you know it's within your limits you're very confident but then you half commit at the last second you're just like oh i can't do it and you half commit that's when you're gonna get hurt so being able to fully commit mentally is extremely important and that's why it's number three on the list and finally guys one of the most useful things that i've came across is use fear as a gauge generally even if a trick may be within your limits if you are absolutely terrified standing on the top of i keep saying trick but but this can really be applied to any aspect of skiing so let's say you're standing on top of a new trail you haven't done a new backcountry line you haven't done you know you're about to drop to do your first backflip because i think that's a very good trick to think about that kind of sums all of these mental feelings up if you're absolutely terrified to the point where you're you're like sick to your stomach and you're shaking and all that you should probably not do the trick that's your instinct kicking in in a major way if it's major where you're physically feeling sick and woozy don't do it man use fear as a gauge to easily tell whether or not something is a stupid idea or you know not that bad of an idea if you're a little bit nervous you have butterflies and you're you know you're feeling like you can do it you're just a little bit nervous which happens to me pretty much every time i ski when i try something new if you have like a little bit of butterflies you're fine use that to drive you and, and lock you in but if you're to the point where you're about to puke my man abort mission before it's too late and finally guys this doesn't apply to everybody because some people ski alone 100% of the time but I just wanted to throw this in having friends around that are aware of your skills and aware of your talents and listening to your friends and not you know getting mad at them because they're telling you to not do a trick that you want to try but listening to and respecting what they're saying like if they're like yo dude I know what your skill is I know you really want to do this trick, but maybe you should take a baby step towards it instead of just going right for it. If they're saying stuff like that to you, listen to their opinions because they're, they're thinking in your best interest. Don't get mad. Don't get angry. Have the mental capability to logically and rationally hear what they're saying and listen to them, man. There it is, guys. My number one most important strength and what you should work on to improve it. Hopefully you agree with me. Hopefully this video helps you. And if so, leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Keep eating those, what is it, carrots? Is it carrots? that make you smarter no carrots help your eyesight i don't know what it is keep keep taking that vitamin b12 man you'll you'll be you'll be uh you'll be mentally with it in no time <laughs> peace guys like you